what's up guys today in this video i'm going to show you how you can make evelyn and baldur's gate 3 in a step-by-step -step tutorial so i found a lot of videos on youtube how you can do that but not showing everything for you so they give you the links uh, they talking about that they show you how you can download things but not showing everything how you can uh, put these files in the folder, in the mod manager, so I'm going to show you everything. So first of all, you need to come here in this link. Uh, I found this guy videos um, and I'm pretty sure this guy is making a really good uh, tutorial about that, but not showing everything step by step. So I'm going to show you the reshade um, too uh, and everything. So first of all, um, before we start the video, uh, don't worry about that if your game is cracked or you buy the game, it doesn't matter. So if you download the game, whatever site, just the cracked game, you can do that too. So don't worry about that. But if you buy the game with Steam, it's a little different. Just you can go to the Steam folder, not the cracked folder where the game is. So. But I'm going to show you. So first of all, you have to download this um, thing. So you come here uh, to this site, click into the requirements. You're going to see Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer. You're going to see improved UI release ready. So everything what you need is here. So download Baldur's Gate 3 mod fixer. Come here, click on files and click mod fixer click on manual download click on slow download first of all you have to log in into nexus mod so if you didn't log in you have to because you can't download files without logging in so make sure you logged click on downloads or whatever you want to save it i'm going to save it here but i have a place where i save these things but i'm going to show you so you can see this is a zip file. If you open it, you can see a pack and you can see a readme file. We didn't need a readme file, but we need the pack file. So first of all, what you need, what we need, we have to download um, these things. Okay, we have to open a new folder. Uh, it's in my PC. It's D and uh, mod fixer and there it is so you have to um move the full folder uh whatever whatever you want just uh, move this full folder so extract this full folder um i've extracted this folder um here okay so i've extracted this folder here like local d and this is Okay, so here it is. So, yes, don't worry if you didn't see those files here. You just need the mod fixer point pak. Okay, so you just need that. Okay, if you do that, and you have the place, it's it's that is that is okay. So that's simple, not very um, hard to do. That you are done the first steps. Okay. That's good. Okay, very nice. So, uh, the next thing you have to download improved UI release ready. So we got we are going to do, but before you download something, every time check requirements. Okay, you see this mod didn't even have requirements. So click on files. You can see uh, improved UI. Click on manual download. Um, click slow download too. Just wait a little bit click download to you see it's downloaded now you can see the pack file so you all you have to do is drop the improved UI pack to here in the mod fixer uh, folder every pack file you need to move here okay every pack file you need to move here okay nice if you done that we are good nice okay if you have those two click on files click on head presets click on download 
you see these two requirements but we already done that so click on download click on slow download too it's take a little while but it's free so don't worry about that just download it click on download it may take a little time but don't worry about that so just download it okay so you have to open this file you have you see the uh, pack five job those here like I said okay nice and you already done the first step okay so already done the first step it's pretty easy pretty simple nice okay now we are going to download the here thing click on here again click on requirements it's pretty important you need Baldus Gate Three Mode Manager. Okay, so we need that. Click on Download. Click on Mode Manager Latest Zip. Click on Download or whatever you want to save again. But we need those files in a correct uh, uh, place. So you have to uh, save these files again somewhere that you didn't delete that so uh, I saved uh, these uh, con correct folder so you have to uh, move the correct folder uh, somewhere like you can see I have these folder uh, what is called all those get remote man manager so you can see I have this correct folder here so yes you need to extract these things somewhere where you didn't delete that okay it's pretty important okay so when you uh, extracted these things just click on Baldur's Gate mode manager if you open this uh, application for the first time you need to um, change the path where the game is that you you have to check uh, you have to select the main path for the game folder uh, what am I talking about so right click on your uh, game and click open file locations and you can see games Baldur Gate 3 and this is the main folder if you have the game in Steam you have to go Steam Steam apps common Baldur's Gate 3 so it's a little bit different but you have to uh, go there so you this is the main place but if you have the Steam version you can go to Steam Apps Common and Baldur's Gate 3 so that's all so you have to select the main path okay if you done that you can see this thing like, like here click on file and click on import mod then select the folder the mod fixer folder what am I talking about where you put these pack files like I said and like I show you then select all of those files and click on open okay don't worry about that if you see in the right side like here because you have to move like you see the files right here but if you see the files that I see, you just you have to do just move those files like that, and that's all. Okay. So if you see the files here, it's good. Don't worry about that. Just move to the left side. Okay. Just move the file to the left side. Okay. So we have those mode manager, so we can download the main files for the devs here or salon. So click on download. You can see those uh, things click on download click on slow download it may take a little while because I think this is the most bigger um, pack in the download uh, links I mean files okay so I don't know why but it didn't even downloading so I'm going to download this auto snap hair pack because it's for all body types so I think it's better and I think I have this 
out the snap hair back so i didn't have this tabs uh hair back at all so click on manual downloads you can see we have those uh, requirements click on downloads click on slow downloads and i'm i'm hoping this is going to download yes it's going to download okay so click on download uh, it's take a while because this is the most bigger file but we are downloading in this video so don't worry about that just uh, download it click on open and drop those um, files again into your um, pack um, folder so what am I talking about um, I'm talking about this folder okay so where you put those files okay like the pack files so what going to do is drag it and just drop your file here okay so you can just drop your file here I'm not going to because I have the share pack like I have the first file Yes, I have the first Devs hair pack file, so I'm not going to um, drop here because I have those files and I don't want to make it trouble with the hairs, so I just need one, but uh, I, I can't download this. I don't know why, but I can't, so I download this in this video, but if you can download the first file, you're going to see this pack file just drop here, so it's just a little different name okay so when you dropped it you are done yeah. okay nice you are done with the hair too the next thing we are download the hair mixer click on here we are going to check again the requirements we ha we need dev hair salon but we downloaded that so that's the file what we do that before yeah so we have these requirements so don't worry about that so click on files I'm going to download uh, 2.0 so click on download yes we already have this requirement click on the slow downloads and just wait when this is this thing is going to download okay click on download okay then again drop this pack file into your pack folder okay nice then you are done with the hair mixer too so we are going to do the body tattoo going here click requirements we need body get remote fixer triple all shader pack so we need the triple all shader pack click on here uh, you see this is don't have any requirements going to uh, manual downloads click on slow download this may take a little while I guess this is a bigger file too but I'm not sure about that now it's not a bigger file so I'm don't know so click on download open it so you have to do again drop your trip shader into your pack folder that's all okay nice so you can download now the unique dev custom appearances so what you should do first download the first unique dev data click on download then download unique dev pack click on download i already downloaded that this is a big file so i'm not going to download it but i have it in my folder so i'm going to show you so first of all i'm going to I uh, need to it this is here yes unique tab pack so uh, this is here like this you have unique tab pack drop into your folder like I said then we need data I don't know where it is here it is so if you download unique dev data it's a little bit bigger file 
you can see the generate folder a lot of folder so you only have to do this is a zip file so don't open it go to your main game folder you can go like uh, go and uh, open game folder click on here then you can see um, this go back to Baldur's Gate 3 go back to data then all you have to do is click on here ctrl c right click on unique tab data click on extract all select those press ctrl v then click on extract i'm not going to do that because i have those file so i'm not gonna sign so i'm i'm not gonna do uh, overwrite but uh, you can do that so that's simple just do that okay then you already done with unique dev custom appearances so yeah it's, it's really not hard it's take a little time to make these things works but don't worry about that i show you everything and if you have any question just write in the down write, write down in the uh, comment section and i try to help you so the second thing is makeup click on here click on files and you can see Mari's makeup replacer and Mari's makeup unique dev. So, yes, just again click on download. Yeah, wait a little bit, it takes some like seconds. Open it. And you can see again a generated folder so you have to go back into the downloads right click on Mary's makeup replacer click on extract all and again go to the your go to your uh, game mains folder into your data folder click on extract and that's also I'm talking about this this path okay nice i'm not sure uh, what's the difference is maris makeup replace and maris makeup unique dev but if you want to make 100 percent sure it's working download the unique dev 2 so i'm going to download the unique dev 2 the same thing what you need to do with this so just download it open it you see the generated folder go back to your downloads right click on it click on extract all press ctrl v into your data click on extract and you're done and you're already done with makeup too so we are going to go to the neck tattoos click on here we are going to check the requirements we already done the requirements go into the files so it there are two uh, difference is, is here so the replacers replace all tattoos in the game or you can download replace only the tattoo for your character I prefer that but do whatever you want I'm going to download this but you can download this it's just the game difference in game difference so the installation is pretty the same okay so download Mary status unique tab click on download we already done that uh, requirements um, yes, again, slow download, the same as every time, just download it, open the file. Again, you can see the generated folder, go back to your downloads, right click on it, click on extract all, press ctrl V, like the data path, click on extract, and you're done with the Mary's Tattoos 2. Um, I'm not talked about that but you don't need every one of these so if you want to make Evelyn you only need head you only need hair or hair mixer um, body tattoo or neck tattoo so you have to make your own character so if you want neck tattoos download neck tattoos if you want makeup download makeup if you want body tattoos download the body tattoos but you need head hair hair mixer because these three is important to make Evelyn okay 
So uh, we are down to the neck tattoos, right? We are done the neck tattoos, right? Yeah, we done the neck tattoos. Okay, so we are going to the hair colors. Yes, check the requirement. So into these files, we need requiring these files. I'm pretty sure I'm not downloaded this file or if I'm downloaded this file it's not working because I don't, didn't download it um, this um, um, requirements so yeah it's it's a uh, need a lot of requirements so i didn't download it that because i'm too lazy to download that so i didn't download that hair color uh, thing so in this video i'm not going to show that but you can do that the same way just you need to download a lot of things more so i didn't download that clamp clothing because um, i'm going to show you but i don't like that so it's a little flowers on the clothes you can see the right the left in the shoulder you can see in the chest so I, I didn't like it I'm not a huge fan of that but uh, if you like it um, the requirements are already done so you have to just download the files and and that's all um, snake bites uh, go here requirements we need uh, piercing mode, piercing edit, uh, serpentine piercing edit. I don't like these things. I'm pretty sure they have a uh, good and pretty nice piercings, but I don't like those. So uh, I didn't download that too, but if you want, just download it. Okay, so we are going to do a huge part, part but before, before we start, we have to do these modes working. So if you see the modes in the right side, I'm talking about that before, just move into the left side, okay? And if you done that, go here, if we go to this icon, export order to game, and click on that with the left click. I don't know how to click on that with right click or anything click, but click on that with the left click, okay? Press the left click, and you can see export that load order duh, 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 duh. that means it's working okay so you can start the game and you can see the difference but before i start the game i going to show you the reshade thing um the requirements is a reshade it's a different website go here click on download Click on download the shade 6.1.0, click on here, click on download and start the setup. Okay. While you're setting the reshade, I, I can't uh, show you that because I already installed reshade. But when you're installing reshade, select all of those effects, what you can. So you can see boxes where you can pipe the box pipe all the boxes I, I I'm not sure about that I can show you but if I can show you I'm not going to install it but I try to show you so if you open the reshade you can see see like that select borders gate uh, directx uh, 11 xe because I use directx isn't I mean 11 sorry I'm talked talked I said it with my male language and it's Hungarian so um don't bother so just select uh direct 11 click all next uh select it to next uh yes um i can't uh, show you because i already installed that but you can see um boxes select all of the boxes all of the effects all of the light all of the modes all of everything select everything and click on install okay uh, if you done that go back to this site and download present one or two uh, 
I like to I like better than the first because I think the pack I mean the present too is more um, seeable it's with your eyes because it's a lot of brighter but I'm going to show you because I have um, my lower brightness um, file in the game because I think this uh, preset packs it's very very brightness and it's hurt my eyes so never mind just go to downloads select those files ctrl c back to the original site description and you can see um, go to mm -mm -mm -mm. go to put this in find the bin folder so what you have to do is go start Baldur's Gate 3 and you can see the reshade is installing so if you see uh, reshade installing in the bottom of the screen don't worry about that just wait while it's installing and if it's done uh, it's going to say to you press home button on your keyboard so we are going to do that but right now the game is loading so okay so I'm in the game and you can see I have Evelyn so you can see the face you can see uh, everything and you can see click on press home button on your keyboard click on this folder icon and uh, you can see we are in the bin uh, pad press ctrl V so we selected those two files just drop those two here then click uh, into this um, menu reload wait a little bit then click on there and select Baldur's Gate 3 uh, you can select Baldur's Gate 3 Bloom HDR click on select and you can see the difference it's a lot uh, higher it's hurt my eyes so I didn't like that but if you like you can use it and you can play with that but uh, and press home again so if you select that press home again and you can play um, I'm going to select um, lower brightness click on select this is my correct settings it's not what you're going to see because I already um, have a different settings I wasn't expecting it. sorry so I already have different settings I'm going to show you uh, what my settings is because it's not hurting your eyes and it's uh, make the game looks better and looks colorful so uh, I have adaptive sharpen adaptive tone mapper ambient light uh, arctic steel vignette I have bloom and bloom HDR the difference is I use this blooming HDR with those settings so uh, 0 0.093 0 0.200 um, I use color matrix, contrast scratch, um, I use FGFX, filmic sharpen, I use HDR, and that's all, so I use this. If you done that, click on save or auto save, I don't uh, care, and then you are done, press the reload button, and you got these settings what I have I think it looks good if you don't like it then don't use use the uh, original lower brightness or boom HDR I don't like it because it's it's a lot of brighter than I that than it should to be but I have this and I like it so and uh, I have to say this because if you start the game and the game didn't start with reshade or didn't start with the sh uh, reshade settings all you have to do is press home button and press home button again and it's load 
you can do that in the main menu or in the game or if it didn't work just click again on to reload button that is going to work so that's all today in this video guys i hope uh, i can help you with those things if you uh, have trouble with that just write in the comment section or join my discord server it's in the description and i help you with that so that's all guys you can do that please give the give us a like and a subscribe if you like this video and make um i don't even know what am i talking about just give the like give the subscribe if you like this video thank you for that yo guys see you in the next video bye